I know you're all well aware that I've got an online store at spindat.com. And on it, currently, there are stickers, hats, and shirts with just wild, unbelievable potential for growth. Now, of course, when orders come in, I am responsible for processing and shipping orders myself. Angela helps a little bit, but obviously she's busy too. And my day job, which pays most of my bills, really gets in the way of processing them in a very timely manner. I feel a little bit guilty about it. I don't think anyone's particularly upset, but it does weigh a little bit. Anyway, what I'm getting at is a lot of times I kind of have to pick one day a week to really go through every order that has come in, process, and send. And in today's processing process, there were two orders inside Halifax. Hey! In my little world, there is zero conceivably valid excuses to allow such deliveries to be subcontracted out to anyone else, especially when you've got one of these. are not better than what was here. bike lane on Hollis Street that everybody hates. Well, everybody who drives a car. I wanna go see what it's like. I imagine it's kind of like the beginnings of a very long list of things this city wants to do for changes, including swapping all these overpasses out for some other form of getting around. Which I personally think is kind of a bummer. I think this is like one of the cooler looking parts of Halifax to like walk or ride through. And if they just change it to a big roundabout, it'd be like, yeah, uh, bummer. more progressive than I anticipated. <laughs> Something worth considering, the bike lane on Hall Street used to be on the left side, which was sketchy at best, because while you're riding on the left side, people aren't used to it, and they just take the left-hand turn without really ever looking. When I used to work downtown, and I'd ride in the left-hand side bike lane, that was like close calls almost every day. This area here is essentially Dalhousie University. It's kind of everywhere throughout the entire city. It's where I would have gone if I didn't drop out of university. I run a YouTube channel that doesn't quite pay the bills yet. True takeaway being, university is a waste of money. Don't go. What else is there cool to show you? Also, I have to add, 
but I truly am sorry to do this to you that if this video is over 10 minutes long, right now, like right here, I'm gonna put an ad. I am truly sorry to do that. I understand how frustrating and annoying and dreadful they are to interrupt a video that you're watching, but I did it in the, the last upload and the jump in revenue that the video had made from where previous ones were was not to be ignored. And when you're a channel of my size, all that stuff really helps. I hope, I hope it wasn't too bad. I'm sorry. So this is Gors, Gorsbrook? Gorsbrook. Gorsbrook Park. Gorsbrook Park. Most notably, this is the arena that is here, like the hockey arena kind of a staple of like the old school fixed gear crowd in Halifax because this is where everybody came to play bike polo. Not to mention a pretty common feature inside any Halifax Alley Cat race. I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure if anyone plays bike polo anymore. I have never done it. Okay, as much as I love this city center, the next delivery takes me a little further away from here. Another successful spin dat drop off. It's funny, living outside of the city, working outside of the city, has made me forget how much fun it is to ride around in a city setting. Didn't realize how much I missed it. Okay, here's another cool Halifax thing to show you. See this strip of asphalt right here? It's pretty prominent, hard to ignore. Maybe it doesn't make sense. It's not really attached to anything. Well, back in like 91, 92, and 93, there was like IndyCar racing in downtown Halifax, where we're at right now. And this pad was put in to kind of make the corner here a little bit easier for the cars to go around. Since it hasn't been back since 93 or 94, there's not really anything you could do with it. So they just put a bunch of Jersey barriers and concrete down so people could skateboard on it. Also notably a basketball court. Cool stuff like that doesn't happen here anymore. did sort of unintentionally become a 10 cent tour of Halifax, didn't it? Fun shooting it, I hope it's not terrible to watch. Now, now this video was hardly the production that I intended on making today. Of course, it's a little bit late now to try and change the narrative of a vlog that I just shot all day. But my initial thought and what I will do this week and for the next coming weeks in the summer is address just something that comes up every so often, especially from new subscribers, if you're a new subscriber. When are you ever gonna do a video that shows all your bikes? And, and I understand that, but the answer simply, to those of you who have been here for a long time, very obviously is January 1st of every year. There is a full rundown of every bike that is in the Spindat fleet at the time. But I tend to think, and I think most of you would probably agree, that that leaves like a little bit to be desired. There's like more that maybe you would want to know about each one. And maybe it'd be cool to have like an episode a week, maybe bi-weekly, 
that just kind of like is dedicated to a bike in the fleet. What one do you want to see first? Again, sorry for putting an ad in this video, but thanks for dealing with it. You're the best.